Okay guys, let's have a look at the intro for this section then. It's, uh, we're going to solve um, systems of linear equations by using matrix methods. Um, we did in the previous section learn how um, practice how to do inverses of 2x2 two two matrices and 3x3 three three matrices. So that's what we're going to look at specifically in this section. So for example, we have um, two equations in two unknowns. We can write like this. And we've got three equations in three unknowns here. It's a corresponding case. Uh, for three unknowns in three equations, yeah. Um, basically, the first thing to notice is when you have three equations in three unknowns, you, before you make the corresponding translation into the matrix equivalent problem, you need to make sure that the correspondence is arranged correctly. So that all the x's must be here, all the y's and all the z's, for example, all arranged in the correct order and then the numbers on the right hand side. And you'll notice that also takes place here. So you might need to move things around before things are arranged correctly. Once they are arranged correctly though, it's simply a matter of writing the corresponding coefficients in matrix form and then we can get the solution. So for example, we look at the coefficients here, 4, minus 2, 1 and 5. So we arrange them in, your, in that order, in that arrangement in the 2 by 2 matrix, times by x, y equals 6 minus 4 on the right hand side. You'll notice if you do first row, first column, you'll get 4x minus 2y uh, equals the first row first column entry. Second row first column, uh, so second row first column is 1x and 5y, and that's the second row first column, x plus 5y. And the same pertains to this 3x3 three three arrangement here. You can see that when you, that all the information for these three equations is just simply put in this matrix representation. Okay then, so how do you get the inverse? Well, you can write this as label that as a matrix A, capital A. This matrix you can write as X, A, and this matrix on the right hand side you can label as Y. And the same goes for this 3x3 three three case as well. So if, this is the crucial thing, we did inverses in the previous section. If we can find the inverse, if it exists, if we times both, of, both sides by A to the minus 1 on the left, and A to the minus 1 on the left here, we'll get this arrangement here, won't we? And then the a to the minus 1a is just the identity matrix. So that can be replaced by the identity matrix. And the identity matrix times the matrix is just the matrix itself. So in this case, it would be x. There. The right-hand side is just a to the minus 1 times y. So all it is then is once you write the problem, either in this context or this context in matrix form, then it's simply a matter of finding the inverse and times it by the y matrix that appears here on the right hand side. And then you'll get uh, a 3 by 1 matrix, the same configuration there of, as this, or a 2 by 1 matrix. And you can simply read off the x and y. And in the 3 by 3 case, you'll be able to read off the z value as well. Okay then, so what we're going to do is we're going to find the inverse, write the matrix in matrix form, find the inverse, times it by the y matrix that uh, consists of these numbers on the right hand side. Okay, guys, hope you get on okay. And uh, any props, just uh, send us an email. Uh, it'll be good to hear from you. And uh, I'll catch you in the next section if, if everything goes, goes well. Cheers.